don't have any time for any gossip now. Right. Eh? Yes. Hey, you guys, we are back for another video. Make sure you guys hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And also, make sure you enable your bell notification so you do not miss out on a video. So I got something that's a little funny here, guys. So let's jump in. Let's jump right in. Okay, so let me run this back a little quick. Because, again, I know everybody don't watch every video. So we all know that Tamar and JR, they have broke up all over social media. Her car had gotten broken into. Um, and then we had saw, um, if you guys remember, that video that was going around. Um, and it showed Tommy basically at a game with JR. If you guys recall, I want you to picture that for a moment. So this video here, remember when Tommy took to social media and everybody was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, what's going on? Why is um, Tommy with JR? What's going on? But let's run it back a little bit further. A little, a few days earlier, Tamar, not Tamar, I'm sorry, Tommy had took a shot at Tamar, basically saying she needed Chris Sean um, to make, to basically make her concert sell out. Um, and that was just Tommy being extra. Tamar came out and called um, Tommy a sea head. Y'all already know a c -c 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 crack head. That's what she called her. Well, then Tommy, remember Tommy released those receipts basically saying that, wow, um, they are together and this, this dude just asked me. So apparently JR, um, which is Jeremy, what is his name? Jeremy, Jeremy. He had asked tommy to go out on a date with him which he stated that he was trying to do that to hurt tamar which i was like wow like you got that much bitterness in you that you would try to hurt her so he basically you know took tommy out on this date because he intentionally wanted to hurt tamar and this is what he stated and i was like wow that's kind of dirty that you actually would have that in your heart to try to hurt someone to try and go after a person that you know they did not like so i was looking at him you know a little bit differently because it really showed his true character he got online and basically said he needed to be healed regardless to if you needed to be healed or not you're a very ugly person to do what you did and not only did he try to go after tommy to make tamar mad with a vengeance to hurt her he also had went on social media and basically said that Tamar was toxic. Now, I know you guys remember that. If you don't, you can go back and watch those videos as well. And then, of course, you know, Tommy came out and she shared the text messages because they was trying to make it seem like, you know, Tommy was crazy. You know, Tommy was a liar. And Tommy pretty much shared those text messages. And again, I'm not going to get into the text messages because I've already did a video on that. Be sure to check it out if you have not already done so. But the reason why I'm doing this video, y'all, is because Tamar, um, you know, she's on tour, I guess. And she is talking about um, JR again. Now, they had recently did a live in which she stated that she had broken up with him, but that is not true. He broke up with her. The story in the narrative is now being changed. Now we know for a fact that she begged this man um, to take her back. If you guys recall, he basically went to social media and said he dumped her. And she was really sad about that because she then came back out on social media and was like, well, the reason why we broke up, broke up is because he went to social media and stated that he broke up with me and she didn't want people to know. And then they started that narrative um, basically saying she broke up with him. Well, now I understand the reasoning behind it. And I believe another content creator um, kind of found this or, you know, discovered this before me. He broke up with her. He didn't want to be with her. Um, she felt stupid. So now they went on this campaign to basically say that she broke up with him. So let's get into this next video clip in which Tamar pretty much states she was not letting her man get away so how would you let a person get away that you jump that you dumped right you you dumped him this is clear proof that tamar is thirsty and desperate so you mean to tell me a man with 99 kids was able to dump you and you are 
on stage talking about the next woman for some man with 99 kids. Y'all, let's get into this video and then we're going to come back for our commentary piece. I had to go get my man back, y'all. And I know y'all lying. If y'all thought I was going to let my man go because he took some crackhead to a basketball game. Okay, guys, let's jump in, honey. Let me grab my notes because I was just shaking my head at the fact that Tamar is still talking about this and still taking shots at Tommy, calling Tommy a crackhead, though. Like, you got your undies in a bunch over this man um and he clearly admitted that he used um tommy to get back at you but you are so mad at her and calling her names but then in the same sentence you stated that um what did she say um that he owed that he, Jeremy, didn't owe her any loyalty when they broke up. So if your old man didn't owe you any loyalty when he broke up with you, because we know that's what happened, why would Tommy owe you any loyalty? She doesn't even like you. And in fact, you don't like her. Um, so I'm just not understanding why she continues to call, you know, um, Tommy a crackhead because of a man. Like, this dude got how many baby mamas? Like, of course he doesn't owe you any loyalty. How many? How much loyalty did he have from baby mama one to two to three to four? Girl, loyalty is not in this man. Um, I did a previous video when she asked him how many people did he date in the six weeks and he laughed about it. This man is thirsty. But I'll tell you this. Um, in this particular video, she said... I went and got my man back. So that is a clear indication that she saw that picture with him and Tate, Tamar, oh my gosh, um, Tommy. And she was like, nope, I'm getting them back. Well, guys, I got another video that somebody just sent me. And they are saying that this dude don't even have any money, that he's middle class at best. Um, so y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you in the next video.